you have probably seen something like 195, 55, R16, 87V written on your tire. And maybe you had no idea what actually it means. Tires also have other markings you might have missed like dot codes, UTQG rating, rotation arrows, M plus S, 3P MSF symbol and even the manufacturing date. In this video, I will tell you what all these markings means in a simple way. So next time when you look at your tire, you will actually know what you are looking at. I know this video is going to be super helpful for you for understanding your tire better. So if you find it useful, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates. Now, without spending much time, let's get started. Let's start with something we have all seen. A random looking code written on the side of your tire. 195, 55, R16, 87V. It's not at all random. It's like your tire's ID card. So what actually these codes and marking means? First, 195. This is the section width of the tire in millimeter. It means the tire is 195 mm wide from one side wall to other when mounted and inflated. I know some of you might not be familiar with what actually sidewall means. So here is the quick explanation. The sidewall is the vertical part of the tire. The area between the tread, the part that touches the road and the rim, the metal wheel. It's where all the markings are printed and it also plays a huge role in absorbing the shocks and maintaining the right comfort. Now coming back to the section width. Wider tires offer more grip and better handling especially while cornering because they have a larger contact patch with the road. But there's a trade off. Wider tires create more rolling resistance which can slightly reduce your fuel efficiency and increase the tire wear. So in conclusion, don't blindly go with the wider tires unless your vehicle and driving style really demands for it. Next is 55, the aspect ratio. This tells us the height of sidewall as the percentage of section width. So here 55% of 195 means the sidewall height is approximately 107mm. Now why does this matter? A lower aspect ratio like 40 or 45 means a shorter sidewall. This gives you sharper handling and sportier feel. But it also makes your ride stiffer and sensitive to pothole. A higher aspect ratio like 65 or 70 means a taller sidewall which absorbs bumps better giving you a more comfortable ride but with a softer handling. So, aspect ratio directly affects both your comfort and control. If you want a smoother ride, go with a higher aspect ratio. If you care more about cornering and responsiveness, a lower aspect ratio makes sense. After aspect ratio, we have this letter R. And this is not for rough roads or racing, like some people might think. R stands for radial construction, which is the most common tire used today in passenger vehicles, bikes and even trucks. Now, in simple term, inside every tire, there are layers of strong materials like fabric or steel that give the tire its strength and shape. In radial tire, these layers are arranged in straight line from one side of tire to other. You might also come across other letters. D or dash stands for diagonal or bias fly construction used mostly in old vehicles or some off-road tires. B means belted bias which is rarely used today. ZR usually appears in high performance tires and it also means radial but specifically built for speeds over 240 km per hour. But for most regular car and bikes, R is what you will see and it's what give you better grip, smoother ride and longer tire life. Next is 16 and this one is pretty straightforward. This tells you the rim diameter in inches. This means the star is designed to fit a 16 inch wheel, nothing more, nothing less. The rim is the middle part of your wheel, the part the tire wraps around. So if your car comes with a 16 inch wheel, you have to use the tire with the same number. If you try to fit a 17 inch wheel on a 16 inch rim, it's just not going to work. Next is 87. This is called load index. It tells how much weight a single tire can carry when it is fully inflated. Now 87 doesn't mean 87 kg. There's a standard chart for this and according to that chart, a load index 87 means the tire can handle 545 kilograms. That's per tire. So a car with 4 tire will have a load capacity of 4 times 545 kg which is 2180 kg. This number is super important if you are carrying passengers, luggage or driving a loaded vehicle. Using a tire of lower load index than your car recommends can be dangerous. The tire might overheat, wear out faster or even burst under heavy load. So 87 tells you the strength of tire and how much weight it can carry safely. Now the last character in the sequence is V which stands for speed rating of the tire. This tells the maximum speed the tire can handle safely under ideal conditions when properly inflated and loaded. So what does V means? According to standard chart, V rated tires are safe up to 240 km per hour. That doesn't mean that you have to go that fast. It only means the tires are designed to handle the heat and stress at that speed. Different letter means different speed capabilities. 
Here are the few common ones. So T is for 190 km per hour, H 210, V 240 and we have a category where the speed is above 240 km per hour, especially for high performance car. We have W for 270 km per hour and Y for 300 km per hour. So remember that single letter in the end isn't just a random alphabet. It tells you how fast your tire is designed to perform safely. Stick to what your car manual recommends or you can go higher if needed but never go lower. Now you know what this number means and different tires have different numbers which changes size, strength and speed rating. Now if you look around the tire a bit more, you will find some markings, codes, symbols and numbers which most of the people usually ignore. Let's quickly go through them because they also matter for your safety and performance. First is DOT code which stands for Department of Transportation. This code is like the birth certificate of your tire which tells you when and where your tire is made. Here is an example DOT code. DOT means certified by US Department of Transportation. A stands for plant code, identify the factory where the tire was manufactured. 9C is tire size and construction code, which is internal information used by the tire manufacturer. And the last four digits are the most important, 3122, which means the tire was made in the 31st week of 2022, which is around August. Tires degrade with age, so if you see anything older than five to six years, you can avoid using it even if the tire looks new. Sometimes the dot code is only printed on the one side of the tire. So if you don't find it outside, check the inside wall. Next up, you might see something like Treadwear 320, Traction A and Temperature A. This is the part of something called UTG curating. Basically a way to measure how tire performs. Let's decode it. First is the Treadwear, the durability of the tire. The base value is 100. So 320 means the tire may last longer 3.2 times than the test tire. Second is traction, which measures grip on wet roads. Grades are AA, A, B and C, where AA is the best. Next is temperature, which measures heat resistance. The grades are A, B and C. Again, A is the best. This gives a quick idea of how well your tire will wear, grip and handle the heat under pressure. Now you might also see some markings like M plus S, a snowflake inside the mountain symbol on your tire. This tells you how your tire perform under different weather conditions. M plus S stands for mud and snow. It means the tire is designed to handle the loose or slippery surface better than the regular tire. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for harsh winter. Next is 3P MSF symbol, which is snowflake inside the mountain. This means the tire has passed a specific test for winter traction. So if you're driving in snow, slush or icy road, this is the symbol to look for. M plus S is the general symbol. The snowflake symbol is the serious one, which actually matters when you're driving in winter conditions. Now here is something which most people miss, a little arrow or the word outside written on the tire. And trust me, it's not for the design, it's there for a reason. If you see a rotation arrow, that means the tire is directional. It is designed to rotate in the specific direction because in the specific direction, the tread pattern is made to push the water out better and give you more grip, especially at higher speed or in wet conditions. Now, if it says outside, that means it's an asymmetric tire. These tires have different red design on inside and outside. So the side marked outside should always face outward when the tire is mounted. Mounting your tire in a wrong way can mess your car handling, braking and drainage system even if the tire itself is brand new. So before you get your new tire installed, just check for that arrow or outside label and make sure that they are fitted in the right way. It's a small detail, but it makes a big difference. So this is all about tire markings, this much for this video, thanks for watching, if you find the video useful, do like it, share it with your friends and colleagues, also if you are new to my channel, do subscribe, till then keep learning, keep exploring.